I cannot believe I have let my hair grow this long without bleaching it. It's so healthy, so it is time to destroy it. I am going to bleach my roots, dye my hair orange, and give myself a haircut. Brad Mondo's color super orange. Just so excited to get my hands on my hair because it has been boring me so much. It's been weighing me down. I need to cut it off. I need to bleach it. It is very addictive to uh, bleach your hair. You just kind of want to keep doing it. I don't know what it is about it, but it's very satisfying to watch your hair lose all of its color and then just destroy the hair fiber. It's just so much fun. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm going to try my best not to overlap the bleach onto my pre-lightened hair. This is what my hair looks like before. The first thing I have to do is put coconut oil in my hair. And I know this is a controversial subject, but let me tell you why I'll do it. Brad Mondo would tell you do not put coconut oil in your hair before you bleach it because it does nothing, but I disagree. No, it does not protect your hair from damage. I know it doesn't do that. It might even dilute the bleach a bit, which is, it'll be fine. Like it's not, not really a big deal. I will preface this by saying I am not a hairdresser. I'm only gonna bleach half of my hair today because I'm tired and I work slowly. So I'm gonna dye my hair in two days. Okay? Okay. Does it split down the middle? Oh my God. I just took a sip of water and there was a ladybug in the straw. Ah. I don't know if it's dead, but I'm going to go put it outside. I'll be right back. Okay. No bugs this time. That was disturbing. Anyways, so the reason I add the coconut oil to my hair, and I think it's helpful for the bleaching process, is because when you're cutting out like super duper thin sections, especially in the back or wherever you might have a little bit of breakage, the coconut oil kind of just helps it go together with the rest of the hair. So it's not like poking out and going whichever way. Like you see how this is really like all pieced together and one the coconut oil helps it do that. It also just like protects your scalp as well. I'm going to section this again in half. So you can see I have this sectioned out from here and I'm going to do this portion first. So now, as you can see, I have one section that's ready to be parted and bleached. I'm going to start with the bottom and work my way up here. And because my regrowth is so long, I'm going to start on the mid shaft of the hair where it's dark and wait like 20 minutes or so, see how it's processing. And then I'm going to apply it to my root because the roots process faster than the mids and the ends. And I'm not gonna put any bleach on my ends. So help me. Okay, so here we have the bleach. This is the Swarshkoff, Swarshkoff Blonde Me 20 volume bleach and cream developer. I did a one to one ratio and then I just added a little bit more developer until it got to the consistency that I was looking for, which is pretty thick. That's what I'm looking for because I don't want it to bleed on to the parts that I have already lightened because that's going to cause breakage and we don't want that. Mm -hmm. Who's texting me? My husband. I'm looking in the mirror to see the back of my head. I don't know how this is going to translate to screen. I'm probably going to do the back of my head and then I'll show you how to do the front of my head. Okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, I did the back section, I did the mids of the back section, and now it's time to do the mids of the front section. And this is where the coconut oil comes in clutch, because all these little baby hairs that really shouldn't be ble bleached anyways are under control. Now you can see that the midsections on this side are done. Okay, let's check how the back is doing. Time to do the roots now. This is how it's going so far. Cool. You can see it's starting to turn. I think it looks pretty good. It's getting sweaty in here for sure. I'm also, as I'm doing this, like rechecking my previous work to make sure I got every spot. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to just kind of make sure I got everything and then I'm going to put a bag on it and wait like 20 minutes. I think the back is good. This is what I'm working with. Okay, I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna go rinse this out and I'll see you later. Okay, it is the next day and half of my hair is bleached as you can tell. It turned out pretty even. I'm actually pretty happy with it. There's a little bit of pink still in the front from where I dyed it before, but no problem. Um, I'm gonna be putting orange over this anyways so it doesn't really matter. Today I'm going to do the other half of my head. I look kind of crazy in between. Just trust the process and it'll, it'll work out, it'll work out. We're on the right path, even though we may look crazy getting there. So I'm going to braid this half of my hair, put a little bit more coconut oil in this half, and then we're gonna get bleaching again. If anyone is wondering, yes, I did go to Trader Joe's looking like this, but I wore a bandana. So nobody asked me if I was, you know, okay. Oh, this would be a great opportunity to make a thumbnail for, um, you know, shock value. All right, time to get to business.
welcome back it is the next day and now my hair is fully bleached and looking kind of strange because this part is yellow and the ends are toned so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to tone the yellow bits and i know like i'm putting orange over this so i shouldn't have to tone the yellow bits but just because i know i'm not gonna get this color out it is quite different to the top so i want to just even it out so i have a even base to apply the color with and then after i tone my hair i'm going to give myself a much needed haircut okay and what i'm using to tone my hair is just some conditioner mixed up with a purple color this is always how i tone my hair and you just hope that you make the right shade. This is the shade I'm going for. Okay, hi. I am back with straight hair. I straightened it so that I can cut it today. When I was done bleaching this side of my head, I did use the rest of the bleach I had just to whip up a bleach wash mixture because I was trying to get some of the color out. And it worked somewhat. I still have a little bit of pink in these front parts. These dead ends have got to go. So first I'm going to give myself a bit of a trim just all the way around. And then maybe I'll play with some layers and possibly bangs. We'll see how crazy it gets. We'll see. Okay, now that I have my hair sectioned into four, I'm going to cut off the same amount on each little thing. Cool. Oh, that's already so much better. How does it look? It's actually not bad. It's really not bad. Oh, it feels so much better. Okay. Now that the length is where I want it, I'm gonna add in some layers. No one told me to do this, by the way. But that's how I'm gonna do it. So much hair. Ah. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth, how it looks like. Oh, it feels so much better though. Yeah, we got layers, okay, we got layers. It's kind of like a shelf. Definitely need to fix that.
Brad, if you are watching this, please send me some of your heat protectant spray. And at, while you're at it, just send me like every color. Thanks. I'm going to be dyeing it with the X Mondo Super Orange. On next episode of Laura's Fucking With Her Hair, which starts right now. Today is the day I'm gonna dye my hair orange. I have dyed my hair orange once before and I liked it quite a bit actually. It actually surprised me because the journey of becoming a blonde is avoiding the color orange and yellow, but this is uh, me embracing those colors. This color is supposed to have like bond builder in it. So we'll see if that does anything. This is my texture of my hair before. It's fine, I just didn't um, condition it. This has glitter in it, that's interesting. It smells pretty good. All right. You can tell that my roots are a little bit darker than the ends, but that doesn't bother me at all. I'm happy with this base, so I'm gonna start applying this color. I really like that this container is big enough for my little brush to fit right into. Cause the Manic Panic ones always annoyed me because I, like you couldn't, you could get in there. This you can get in here for. So I'm all here for that. So review on the product, I really like the way that it applied. It looks so bright. If only there was hair dye that would make parts of my hair reflective, then I could truly be a traffic cone. But for now, this will have to do. I don't want to hear any complaints about it, okay? Okay, this is how much I have left. So not much. Definitely not enough to do your whole head unless you wanted to dilute it or mix it with another color. I will let this process for 20 minutes and then I will rinse it out and show you the final result probably tomorrow. My hair is orange. Yay. I love the way it turned out. I think the haircut looks so good. And this orange is pretty rocking too. What do you think? You, th you think you don't want to be picked up, huh? I should respect your wishes. I'm sorry. No matter what Fauna thinks, I'm really happy with it. And my hair is really soft. The X Mondo dye is definitely a lot more expensive than any of the hair dye I normally use, but it does have that bond builder in it, which I really, I don't know if that made a difference at all, but my hair did feel super soft after washing it out. Um, I don't know if it's any healthier, but it looks very nice. The color is really even. When I was rinsing it out, it seemed like most of the dye stayed in my hair. There wasn't like so much runoff. 
Thumbs up for me. Hair. Look at my hair. My hair is orange. My hair is orange. A welcome change for sure. Could you hear my neck crack there? I hope you could. There we go. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm tired. I'm very, very tired now. That was quite the process for my hair. And the last hairstyle I'm going to do for a while, I'm officially out of lightener, which is probably good for my hair health. <laughs> so I'll continue to dye it different wacky colors until it's all grown out or until I give it in by bleach again. Anyways, thanks for watching.